Sustainable use works. The reserve of Mamirawa has proved that. But Marcio is always looking for new ways to utilize the natural resources without damaging the delicate balance of the ecosystem. One of those is the agricultural program. The idea of the agricultural program of the reserve is to improve the use of crops that are adapted to the muds which come out during the dry season, the beaches, instead of destroying the forest. And we manage to decrease the deforestation rate around the village to zero because of this sort of plantation. This is our seed bank. And the idea of this seed bank, we brought from several regions of Amazonia um, species which are adapted to the flooded forest, to the flooded ground. So that means we have uh, very productive types of beans, very productive type of maize, very productive type of peanuts just for the flood plain. During the flooded season, it's impossible to grow crops, but timber cutting does still happen in the reserve. Wood is as much of a natural resource as manioc flour and fish and is an important source of income for the locals. Now it's strictly managed, ensuring the long-term survival of the forest. Before, no one thought at all about the damage they were causing here in the forest. We are all working under management now. There must be limits, because if there are limits, there will be wood all the time. The important thing in nature is to keep the quality of trees and to enable the younger ones to grow up. That way, the forest doesn't get exhausted. For me, sustainable use is to manage the wildlife populations. People can take their timber, people can do their crops, people can take their fish, and this ecosystem is healthy enough to maintain the level of livelihoods. Marcio realizes that if this new model of sustainable use is to have a long-term future, it's imperative that the valuable resources are protected. Those guys are the volunteer vigilants of the reserve. They just came from a mission. They went to see uh, very far from here, apart, uh, there is some invasion, a little bit of invasion in the reserve of loggers. So they are going to apprehend all the timber if they took from the reserve. They do this because they, uh, this is economically important for their livelihoods. So if they let people to remove the uh, resources which they are protecting, they are losing money. It's like losing money in a bank account. If we uh, had only the government acting here, the federal agents, we would have like one man for each seven million hectares. And that's an impossible task. Local people are also involved in monitoring the wildlife. The unique ecosystem of the flooded forest provides a haven for many indigenous species. One of the area's signature species is the pink river dolphin, or botos as they're known locally, and they are carefully monitored. The dolphin is a very important animal uh, within the aquatic ecosystem because it's one of the top predators. And being one of the top predators, uh, it's very sensitive to environmental changes. If the population of the dolphins is stable, means that we are maintaining a population of fish. 
All over the reserve of Mamirowa, resident scientists monitor the forest's ecosystem. Basically, we go around this area and this area, sometimes to Jarawa. What do you think the situation of the dolphins are here? In, I in think Mamirawa? they are pretty good. The population is very stable. When we recognize individually the animals, we can follow their life history, so we can see who they interact with, you know, where they are, how long they live. The good thing is that we have been able to maintain this type of research for many years, so we have an impressive series of data for more than 10 years, which nobody has in the Amazon. If you have good scientific research, you can do much better management. I think the work that Marcio does here is uh, wonderful and one of the most amazing work in Brazil because the people from the community he can interact with the environment, he can use the resource that are found here and they learn how to respect like the botos and all the animals around here. I think the world that uh, had more people like Marcel would be much better, that's for sure. <laughs>